I probably should have read the directions. Hey guys, Charlie the Plumber here. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate everyone stopping back by today. Uh, we are doing a review on a Blackstone griddle that I bought last week. 150 bucks. As you all know, I have the Blackstone that I reviewed a while back out in the backyard on the deck. This one here is going out to the cabin on the water. We're going to take this out to the boat and uh, we're going to put it on the dock, not on the boat, but on the dock in the marina. So I figured before I crack her open, I got it from Lowe's because Tractor Supply had the same thing and Tractor wanted $20 delivery. So I snooped around a little bit, we bought it on Lowe's, and Lowe's delivered it for free. So that was nice, we had to pay the 6% Michigan sales tax. And uh, here we go, let's cut her open. I'm going to guess it, probably about 30 pounds in the box. So I got the three things, the, the two straps on the side, got the Milwaukee pocket knife, and uh, it says one variable cooking zone. So it's just got one burner on it. If it's like any other Blackstone product, I think I'm going to be pretty happy with it. Let's cut this box open, see how it's packed. It's packed well, guys. Ooh, it's got to be put together. So we're going to save the box just in case there's an issue. We always hope there's no issues. Okay, so here's the bottom. It's actually got, it's actually got a horseshoe burner, which is pretty sweet, guys, because they say it's one burner, but it's actually a little bit bigger than one burner. Make sure the pins are fully seated in the holes and push back through secure locking. I will tell you this, guys, that if the griddle pins are not pushed inside here from my big black stone outside, this thing will rock and you won't be happy. So this surface must be level for it to really work sweet. <clears throat> so here's the top and the griddle. I'm just going to flip this over. So we're going to turn this over. I'm going to set it on top of here. I tried to just get the burner off, but the burner and the lid are hooked together. Styrofoam covering so it doesn't scratch in shipping. Blackstone done a nice job on this. And then they send you a sheet that tells you what you get with it. Must have griddle gear. It's got the griddle gear you can start with. It's got the grease cup liner. So let's open this box and see if that's what's inside here. And this takes one pound LP gas tanks, guys. Uh, so that tank that you're using on your buddy heater and the deer camp, you can use on this grill as well. So it comes with the cups and the grease catcher for in the back. This goes right in the back of the unit. Comes with one cup, just a aluminum pan, and then the grease catcher. And this grease catcher goes back here. Do -do -do, where does it go? I gotta come around to see where it goes. Hold on. Ah goes down there. So I'll tell you what guys, I kind of like this because on the other one out in the backyard, I got pushed so bad, far back in the deck, I actually have to open the lid and half the time I get the grease that spills out. Where this one here, it's a little more portable. You can lift it up, move it, whatever. But that grease will run right out this grease hole and drop right in the pan. So if it's coming out of the grease hole, be careful. Let's see what else we got in here. It's like Christmas. Where's the feet? Got the feet. Got the feet. Who reads directions, right? Yeah, need to read the directions. So the feet have a nut and a bolt. 
and they just go through this assembly here, through the bottom plate. How many people have done that? Whoop, there goes another nut to my grill. So far, I like it. It's pretty slick. Simple to put together, not much to it. There's the knob for the front. Oh yeah, sparking right here in the front. You got the grill assembly, the gas assembly, that goes over here on the side. Just plugs in, screws on, roll that around, put your tank on there and just roll it down. I like it. Oh, it's got a handle. It's got the handle that goes on the front. The handle seems like it might be a little cheesy. It looks stainless. And that screw is whomped in there, and I'm going to tell you that that screw is cross-threaded. I don't have a screwdriver here. That's a pretty slick grill. Obviously, I'll have to season this tonight. Uh, looks like it's sloped backwards a little bit, which is nice. The one outside, if that deck is not right on the money, the grease tends to roll one corner or the other. So I wish these legs were adjustable. So if you have a spot where it's not going to be right on, it would be nice to have them adjustable so you could kick it up here, kick it up there. And you could do that very easily by just uh, making them screws a little bit longer with a second nut. Can't wait to use it tonight. Hope you enjoyed the unpackaging of the Blackstone 17-inch griddle. Took me all of about 10 minutes to take this thing out and put it together. Uh, we're going to take you out to the boat today. We're going to cook some steaks on it tomorrow. We'll do some seasoning on it. And uh, I'll probably buy an adapter for a 20-pound tank over here on the side. But hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. Don't forget, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. I guess that's about it, guys. So share it with your friends. Don't forget, Charlie the Plumber. One of the few things in life you get for free, even on the Internet.